Okay, so got into a little bit of game planning today as if we were in season so we can start, um, you know, working on the opener, also get players used to that schedule and how that works. But then at the same time, the next two days, we'll still have um, some camp-like segments of practice kind of doing both. So good to kind of turn a leaf of working on someone else and having service teams to do that. And um, felt like guys' attention picked up a little bit um, going over the opponent's step charts and things like that. So I think we still have a lot of work to do. I think that um, I've had a number of players miss time offensively lately, especially with skilled position, receiver. Uh, and um, so that's kind of maybe set us back a little bit. But we anticipate those guys coming back and – Moving forward. Questions? Lane, the last time we talked to you, you were talking about the line of scrimmage from the previous scrimmage. Just this past weekend, just what were your overall thoughts of, you know, that playing out and the overall thoughts on the scrimmage this past weekend? <clears throat> I thought the defensive line um, played extremely well again. Um, really caused us, including our first offense, some issues. And so that's kind of been the theme of camp about that unit playing really well, and they did again, and they have a lot of different body types in that unit um, that are really hard to deal with. So obviously that's our team, so that's a good thing. And um, I think our offensive line uh, has a chance to be improved. I think they're headed the right direction. Um, a number of those guys, you know, haven't played together, so uh, that takes some time too. Questions? And, uh, so Charlie Wise seniors claimed to have been around last week to kind of view things from an organizational standpoint and whatnot. Just what was some of the feedback that you got from him and just the conversations that you had with him just throughout last week? Um, well, he was up here obviously to see Charlie and the family and um, the two two grandsons. So um, it was good having him around. I've known him for a while and um, he had mostly really good things to say about you know what he saw with practice and organization so it's always welcome when we talked to charlie uh, a couple weeks ago he said that you know it's good to have rotating pieces you can rotate on the offensive line but do you feel like you've narrowed it down to a five that you like so far or is it still a lot of moving pieces still is a lot of competition there um just like any competition that could necessarily continue on you know there isn't you know a deadline that the first game means that there's no competition and then those 22 starters are 22 starters from there on. So um, there's still a lot of competition, really good competition, and guys doing really well on the offensive line. Lane, does, does the program have any comment on Xavier Harris's arrest over the weekend? Yeah, we were made aware of that and um, still gathering information on that. And I don't have any other comment but that. Do you feel like you know who your backup quarterback is at this point in camp, or is that still ongoing? I don't. I um, have confidence in um, all of them, and they've done really good things, and uh, specifically Austin and Walker, as the guys that have been here longer, um, and would feel confident playing with both those guys. Questions? Does anybody drink Coke? You realize that 130% of your sugar for the entire day is in this one bottle. Sixty-five grams of sugar. Uh, a long time. Um, I don't know. Chris Lowe drinks Coke, though. I do know that. All right, see you guys. <laughs> that is true. You do.